Like, oh my here. gosh. There's just him. So we're currently going through some old pictures at my mom's house right now. We're trying to find baby mm. pictures. This is one where it's like, seriously, this is the, this is the baby the ultrasound. We're looking at the ultrasound and we're trying to figure out, okay, and whose looks nose? so much like, that's your nose, first of all. <laughs> Wait, look at these cheeks. Look at that booty, though. He's not like this. You have this one. This is so cute. What's Steven, that? is this why you've loved mm -hmm. army print your whole life? Yes. I love that. And then there's your little Raider shirt. Dang, that's vintage, oh, vintage. Hello, hello. We just arrived at our 37-week doctor's appointment. And last night, not gonna lie to you guys, I was kind of freaking out. I was like, Steven? I know I was having Braxton Hicks contractions, but I was like, pack, pack the bags, we're gonna go. Like I was, it, it was like the first time it actually hit me that, oh my gosh, at any moment I could give birth and I got scared for the first time. I'm in the get this baby out of me phase, what everyone likes to call it, the I'm done. That's the phase everyone's telling me I'm in right now. And you know what? Shit has been magical. It's still magical, but I'm done. I'm ready. <laughs> I know what people say, you don't sleep, well, I'm ready to meet the baby too, so. I'm ready to meet the baby as well. I'm not sure how many more appointments there's gonna be, but this is getting close to the end. Uh, Desi just went in for an ultrasound. Kind of bummed, I'm sad. Uh, you know, anytime I get to see my son, it's an exciting thing, but I'm just gonna have to wait. Wait a couple more weeks, maybe one, two, three, four. It's coming though, it's coming really quick. All right, we are in, or I'm in, Stephen couldn't come in. But I gotta do a vaginal exam here. But most people do go a little bit past their due date with their first. That's what I hear. And based on this, I, you're not dilated yet. Um, I would say you're maybe 20% softened, 20% of face. Okay. So it's, it's a tube, right? And so maybe like 20% of them, and it's closed. Okay. I'm panicking. I'm panicking. What happened? Well, I already told Dr. Frankie. I said, Dr. Frankie, when we first met with you, you said, who travels in October? And I said, nobody. Now he's traveling in October. And I'm kind of like, hello? He said, his husband has points. And I said, well, his, he better have enough points to get your ass back here if I go into labor. That's what I said to him. <laughs> but I met the other two doctors, and luckily for him, they have really good vibes, really good energy. So I'm feeling a little bit better, but still. <laughs> Dio, what are you doing? Oh, this is Dia doing. She just oh my Tia. God. Where are you going, Tia? Good girl, Canali. Good girl. So, uh, just to document this moment right now, I just asked Desi, um, go ahead and check your phone. And you said... I lost my phone. I don't know where I left my phone. Let me find it real quick. I don't know where I left my phone. It's in my hand. Charlie, do you like baby's nursing chair? Huh? <gasps> so here we are. Charlie is definitely getting us ready for what the baby's about to do to this chair. Good. Steven, I can't believe I caught it on camera. Like, I was like, oh my god, he looks so cute. Brand new chair, I'm so excited. And then the biggest throw up I've ever seen in my life. Isn't it like an unreleased brand new chair? <laughs> it just released. But we're all good. Doctor came, he fixed it. Oh, great. This is the beginning of... Charlie's literally been the perfect example of what it's going to be like to have kids. He's directly underneath you right now. He's hiding? Yeah. <laughs> when that just happened I just I was Regina George when she found out the calcium bars make you gain weight <laughs> yeah! like I stopped recording instantly and just went into full so Marky and myself heard that happen and we came running into the bedroom because we were like 
oh my god did the water just break like we come running and then we just see cute little charlie sitting on the chair that looked like poop that was the it weird. looked I've never so seen, bad I've never seen it looked so like bad that. Like, I, I've said it from the beginning since he got Charlie. I was like, he is preparing us for a baby. He's doing everything. Like, he does everything that, like... Just... Hey, it's all fixed. We're all good. The chair's we got clean. This. The chair's clean. We're going to extra slash guard it. I mean, it's going to... I mean, I knew going... I know going into this that, like, baby's going to throw up on things. Baby's mm -hmm. going to, like, poop on things. Like, shit literally is going to happen. I just thought I would actually get to put the chair in the nursery before it happened. You thought it would be I the literally baby, fresh, the baby, not freshly the delivered, and it got thrown up. Just like when we got the couch and Noli shit oh, on yeah, it. That's right. Oh, it don't stop. Nice you can't just can't have, have nice, nice things. things. <laughs> And so having to draw shit, you know I can't draw it to shit. Yeah. So mm, well. I had to draw this thing here on cardboard, and then I, and then what I did is then I, when I did it pencil, then I started like making it better and like on marker. Oh. When wow. I got it like I wanted it, I feel, I just cut it out, put it on a piece of wood, and then I cut out a piece of wood and went, yeah, that'll work. <laughs> if you have the baby out there and it's a nice day, and you can be sitting with the baby, baby, and you can just you can swing without having to worry about you just hold the baby, can you just not hold it. the size and, right, you're and fall around. It. Right. Oh, hi, baby. How are you? <laughs> oh my god, it's so comfortable. Of course it is. It's supposed to be. Katie's not going to be able to sit in this without her feet touching. Her feet won't touch. Don't tell her I said that. Oh my god. Now this is living here. You can just rest your anything. arms on the side. Boom, you're good to go, baby. This is legit. You, I really don't have to do anything. All right. It swings by itself. You are my test baby right now. <laughs> Steven and I have a DIY project for the baby nursery. We wanted like a stone looking vase, but let me tell you, when I saw them, they're like $2,000. I wasn't about to do that. So we have been like watching YouTube videos and I found that if you mix plaster of Paris with some water and, you know, some sand and just kind of Stick it on a pot. This is like the one that we're, we already had. It's gonna make it look like a piece of stone. We have to paint it after it's not done. This is like step one. This is what the pot looked like before. Not completely unfortunate. It's a pretty pot, but it just, we're revamping. We're revamping. But the thing is, is that um, I want his room to be really like all about nature and I want it to look like, basically we took a big stone and carved the inside out and put a tree in it, a little olive tree. Awesome. So we moved on to phase two, uh, fully plastered now, and now Desi is just painting. This is the base coat, though. This is base coat. So you gotta get in all the details. I'm gonna help you do the base coat so we can just get it done with. Six naps later, but it's dark take, outside. I have to take many naps in between things. It's days. looking so good, though. I'm just using a wax, and the wax is going into all the crevices to kind of make it look a little more lived in. I just love when things look like they're from the earth. Hello. Good day. It's a beautiful day. It is October 1st. You know what that means? It's birth month. It's birth month. We have <laughs> entered birth month. We have entered Halloween month. Best month of the year. Some could argue. I like Christmas too. I haven't caught up with you guys in a little bit. I feel like I always do it in the car because... That's when you have time. I have a lot of time right now. I'm not doing much. But probably because I have a brow on. And I feel like I can talk to camera. But uh, you guys, this last few weeks of pregnancy is exactly what everyone says it is. And it's comforting knowing that, oh my God, the air conditioning needs to be on. I might die. Whew. 
it's comforting, it's 109 degrees, and you're turning off the air? Well, yeah, I didn't want the to pop up in the video, but that's okay. If you guys hear air conditioning, that's it's 109 degrees, I'm pregnant, I gotta have it, I gotta have it. Everyone says that the last few weeks are so tough, and I thought going into like the last trimester, I still had like a lot of energy, so I was kind of like, oh, maybe it won't be tough. Maybe it'll be fine. <laughs> And let me go, let me go into that with saying that it's not the worst thing. It's not pain, it's not like terrible, but it is tough. Mostly because you're mentally drained, because you're not sleeping, you're super exhausted, your body is aching. My shins feel like they're splitting apart from my weight sometimes. Like when I walk through Home Goods even for 15 minutes. That's all you get is 15 minutes. I have 15 minutes to look through Home Goods and I'm done. You have. I'm done. And that's pushing it. You're very ambitious, and then when you get to the actual <laughs> activity, you're just like, um, gotta go the energy home. level, you guys, is literally empty all the time. I'm prepared now for baby not sleeping because I'm already not sleeping. So, and I don't think Steven sleeps as much either because I wake him up with my puffs and puffs to roll out of the bed. Well, you need the extra push to get out of bed. I don't think you can physically get out Our of bed. Our bed is terrible. Push. It is like a sinkhole. Like we've needed a new mattress for years. So I, and now I'm, I'm, I'm a little heavier, okay? I weighed in last week at 162, which I started around 115. I don't know, I probably was 118. Mm -hmm. I toggled I toggled between like weights around there. We'll see how much I weigh now. We're actually on our way to the doctor again. And- It's your last checkup before he goes out of town. My last checkup before he goes out of town, okay? He's leaving from, <laughs> he's leaving from the 3rd of October to the 15th. I am due on the 17th. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. Pinch, pinch tight. Dr. Finky. I love him though. I love him so much. He's such a great doctor. It's so hard because there's never really a good time to go out of town when you deliver babies, period. There's always a baby being born, so I understand. I'm accepting of it now. Last week I was like panicking. Now I'm you just like- so accepting. When it came to our wedding day and flowers being the wrong color, now your doctor being out of town when you're delivering, like, who are you? I don't know, but in times of where people would think I'd freak out the most, I've become more calm. calm. Steven's baby has shined. I call him Steven's baby this month because I don't know who this person is. He's got good taste in food right now. <laughs> Steven's Sandy. baby is shining. He makes me so calm. He makes me eat like a crazy person. He makes you love me a lot. Like, I love right Steven now, so much. It. More than ever, I need Steven it's to be- It's very hard to get things done right now because every time I need to do something, I need to be on a computer that's plugged into a hard drive, but that's in my office and she's on the couch. So not a lot of work's getting done right now because Desi needs my support I'm right always now. like, Steven, can, where are you? What are you doing? Can you come? I just want to be around him. Like, literally the baby wants to be around you and me. I like that. All the time, 24 seven. I just feel a really strong connection What's crazy when you think about this is these are the last moments that it'll just be you and me for a very long time. Exactly, and of course we'll still have moments alone, but for the rest of my life I will always be thinking like, oh, I wonder how the baby's doing. Like Even if mom watches right. him for a little bit, you'd still be thinking like, oh, I wonder how he's doing, I miss him. We even feel that way with the dogs. Right. Imagine with our baby. I know. Oh my gosh, I just weighed in at 166. That means I gained four pounds since last week or heated, heated. What's the update? The update is not, you know, now we see the doctor every week. So. Play doctor, not your doctor. Not my doctor. He said, you know, don't worry about the weight. It's just a lot of it's just water weight and salts. Like you'll lose it right after the baby. Can you tell him how much you weigh? Well, yeah. I said, should I be concerned that I'm gaining weight at a rapid pace? Did you tell them how much you weigh? I did. Okay. I did, yes. Um, I, cause people said that like the yeah, last few weeks. It does show, by the way. Like I, I didn't know you gained that much weight. I mean, it is what it is. I don't, I, I don't care. I'm just saying it, it is sometimes like, it's not even about my body that I'm concerned about. It's about, about the, the baby, size the, child. the size of the child that's going <laughs> to exit. Exit? Thea looked at me the other day and she goes, where's the door? <laughs> the door? Yeah. She's like, where's the baby coming out of? And I was like. right there she's like no that's oh, not big enough of a door that is good. 
So yeah, things are looking good. We'll see what happens. I'm, I'm, I didn't tell you guys this yet because I don't want people calling me crazy, but I decided to do a few changes in my house. You're crazy. And I'm going to do a little demo this week to our master, the worst room too, the master bedroom and the master bathroom. We're moving downstairs, which is good because that way we won't have to go up and down the stairs after birth or whatever, but we wanted to get the demo out of the way before the baby gets here. Um, and so I felt like this is the time because once the baby gets here, I'll probably never get around to it. And it's something I've been wanting to do. It's nothing super crazy. There's a few changes Steven and I have wanted to make since we moved in. We never got around to it. And of course now, two weeks before giving birth, I'm like, sounds like a good time. Ooh, Johnny Rockets. <gasps> oh, I just like French fries and milkshakes right now. We can go there. Man. No, 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 I want ramen. Okay, so anyways, that's it. That is it. Bye. You have no idea what food does to me. It takes over my whole body, the cravings. And like, I can't control myself. Like my little toes are in my shoe going like this. <laughs> I think his toes are Like they're so the excited. Oh my gosh. Onions, bell peppers, jalapenos, mozzarella cheese. Ooh. And then I'm also gonna get the matcha pancake. I'm gonna get Oreo banana milkshake. Ooh, possibly a blueberry banana smoothie. I don't know where I'm at right now. Mm. Oh my God, I'm gonna gain all my weight in this last couple of weeks. <laughs> Ugh. How you feeling? Happy, <laughs> happy, happy. This little food dance you get? Um, I didn't really get it before, but. Oh my God, we didn't have time for that. Baby's happy though. He's dancing right now. That's all that matters. And it's already happened. Food coma hit before we even got home. It's a round head there. It's hard to see him now, huh? He's... Yeah, well, the baby's bigger and, you know, you're almost due. Nice heartbeat. Does everyone feel like their babies are so big at this point? Of course, you're 39 weeks. Oh, you're gonna feel is how heavy you are right mm -hmm. now. Beautiful, seven pounds, 15 ounces, almost eight pounds. That's why. They have eight pounds of baby in there. <laughs> so I can't see the face anymore, the baby's low. But it's low? Mm -hmm. But everything's great. trust you. You have to stay there. He put one paw on the carpet. You too, Cannoli. I don't know if I trust you on this road. Around, I'm like, what? Me? I would never think of doing anything. Uh -huh. Yeah, not oh, after that chair. It's so good. I mean, this seems like nothing to somebody because it's just pink in the rug, but it's like it's coming. Us. It's coming together. But And then also the built-in bookshelf. Like, how cute. You can't see it yet because there's nothing there yet. But you know, once all the books, his library, oh, and then I'm gonna be reading him books over here. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Come on in, Mom. Hi. What do you think? Oh. Okay, make yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna build a crib. Mom, you're on YouTube. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Have fun building the crib, honey. Thank you. I love you. Are you excited, honey? Yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> build my first child's crib, I guess. <laughs> All right, gang's all here. Got Desi down here. I'm supervising on the ball. Of course, I wouldn't have it any other way. With my swollen, swollen feet. Before I sleep, hear the crickets, see the moon. I can see that's the first crib I've ever built. What do you think? I think I built a really good crib. <laughs> <laughs>
actually you did really good oh, thanks. Your bouncy ball. thanks for the support you did amazing you guys killed it you're gonna be one of those babies that just decides you know what i'm gonna stay in here i kind of like it he's, he's kind of comfy there he's kind of feeling like well he's feeling very large right now and um they said he's pretty much close to eight pounds from what they could tell holy shit i'm already feeling the pain the pre-pain and I wasn't dilated yesterday, so he said that the chances of me giving birth yesterday or today are low, but then, you know, you never know after that, so. 